Five bells. Stand by all stations. Attention. All districts. The five alarm fire. Five bells. Move in immediately. That's it. Let's roll. Let's go. Firefighters. Let's go, firefighters. Let's go to the fire station where engine 209 stands waiting for the next alarm. Gonagal, the driver, is grumbling to himself as usual as he polishes the fenders of the big engine. Hearing Gonagal's voice, Lieutenant Greenspan comes out of his office and calls. Collins! That you, Collins? Oh, it's just me, Lieutenant. Ah, where's Collins? Isn't he back yet? Nope. I guess he's still with Chief Cody. Well, he's hoping the chief lets us have him back soon. We gotta do something about those grass fires. You think Hooksy Collins can handle it? Well, I'm hoping he can get hold of those kids. I'd like to get hold of them. Burning off the grass in the vacant lots. Every day this week we've had a row because some kid got to playing with matches. There ought to be a law. There is a law, but those youngsters never heard of it. That's why I hope Collins can get in touch with them. Well, maybe he'll catch a few and, and, and dust their jackets. I don't know, Gonna go. Maybe that's the way to handle it, and maybe not. Why don't you let me handle it, Lieutenant? I'd get me a big paddle. I'd go out in the lots where all these fires start. I'd take my paddle, and I'd let the... That's us, Gunnigo. Turn out, you lazy bones. We roll. Yes, and Veezy. Sounds like another grass fire. Hey, hey, wait for me. All right, hold it, Gunnigo. Get up the car. Get up in that car. Yes, sir. You man back there. I'll clear behind. Okay. I'll clear, Gunnigo. Move over, Hooksy. Move over for the lieutenant. Let's go. Sweep up the hillside before we get there. And touch off a few million gallons of oil and gasoline. Well, can't we head off those grass fires? Somebody's getting pretty careless. Well, we're going to that later, Colin. We get to the scene of the fire, keep a watch for a gang of boys. We gotta get hold of them before Green Hills goes up in smoke. toward its destination in the Green Hills District, Chief Cody is checking on the alarm. Miles away, in his office at Fire Department headquarters, he studies a huge map of the city, quickly locates Box 211, and then reaches into his information file for a card. He shakes his head and calls out with clerk in the outer office. Glover, get me the records office on the inside line. Want the dope on what's going on out at Green Hills. Uh, Chief Cody, your records office? Yes, what reports do you have on oil and gasoline stored in those big tanks out at Green Hills? No way I get a pencil. All right, go ahead. All storage tanks in use. Huh? How many? Oh, three of the big oil companies. All right. Anything else? I mean, uh, any other kind of supplies that might give us trouble? Unity Chemical Company, huh? Shed full of chemicals. What? No watchman. Uh, we'll say ever learn. No, that's all I want. I'm much obliged. Clover, give the garage a ring. I want my car. Going out to Green Hill. Got to look into this outbreak of grass fires before we have a situation out there we can't control. Chief Cody makes ready for a fast run in his department car to the Green Hills District, where vast supplies of oil and gasoline are stored in huge black tanks among the open fields. Engine 209 pulls up at the scene of the fire, and Lieutenant Greenspan quickly sizes up the situation. Yeah, just as I thought. Fire creeping across the vacant lots. You want a line, sir? No, we don't need a hose. Gotta go. You man back there, brooms and rakes! At the upper end of the field, sir. Fire's almost reached that pile of brush. Get the small extinguisher, Collins. We'll stop that fire before it gets into the brush and begins to leap up the hillside. Yes, sir. Steve, unship that small extinguisher. All right, you man, you know what to do. Take those brooms, get ahead of that flame, and beat it down. There they are. Who is that? That gang of boys, Lieutenant, halfway up the hill. Where? I don't see anybody. Ah, they ducked out of sight behind that big shed. You want me to go up there, sir? No, no, no. Stand by your engine. Watch them, but don't let them get the idea you're watching. You know what I mean? I get it. If we can identify one, we'll catch them all. Collins! Ready, Lieutenant? Let's go. We'll get ahead of the fire and stop it dead in its tracks. Driver, 
Where's your company officer? Huh? Oh, oh uh, there he is up there, Chief Cody. Oh, it's you, Garnigal. First time I ever caught you asleep on the job. Not me, Chief Cody. I was just concentrating. You know, concentrating. On what? What are you squinting for? For trying to see out of the corner of my eyes, Chief. I'm concentrating on that shed up there. Uh-uh. Don't look now. Garnigal, are you getting funny in the head? Me, sir? No, sir. No more than usual. Uh, the lieutenant, he told me to watch that shed. There's a gang of boys, Chief. Gang of boys? So that's it. Yes, sir. Huh? We keep getting these alarms for grass fires, Chief, and all the time there's a gang of boys hanging around. Only they don't hang so close that you could get your hands on them. They've taken cover behind that shed? That they have, sir. We start a sight as soon as we got here. Hmm? But I've been watching. They haven't gotten away. Couldn't make a break for it without me seeing them. All right, keep on watching, Garnicle. I'm going to talk to your lieutenant. Sing out if you see anything. Garnicle told me the situation, Lieutenant. So it's a gang of boys, huh? Oh, well, you've seen them often enough, Chief. And they've been starting these fires? Yeah, I'm sure of it. Oh, excuse me, Chief. All right, Collins, we're through with that extinguisher up there. Yes, sir. Take it down below. Use it to smother any coals the men can't beat out with a broom. Okay, Lieutenant. Think about these grass fires, Chief. Not one of them we've seen yet has caused any real damage. But any day now... Yeah, we... let's get hold of those kids. Gunnigal says they're still up there behind that storage shed. <laughs> they're faster on their feet than I am, Chief. But where can they run to? Higher up, there's the oil company fence, nine feet high, with a wire mesh only a squirrel could climb. Yeah, so if we separate, if we each go around one side of the shed... I'll drive them toward you, or you'll drive them toward me. <laughs> we can't miss. All right, let's get started. But remember, we don't want to scare those boys. We've got to get a hold of at least one of them and get the idea across to him that playing with fire isn't safe. I'm with you, sir. No rough handling. Well, this is the time to use our heads and teach those boys to use theirs. Oh, uh, we'll separate here, Lieutenant. Now, you go on that side, I'll go on this. Scare the kids. No, sir. That won't help. But Collins, what's the idea? Oh, I, I I didn't mean to startle you, Chief. Coming up behind a man like that might as well shoot me or scare me to death. Oh, sorry, sir. I thought you heard me. I, I thought it was me you were speaking to. <laughs> no, Collins. You just caught the old man talking to himself. And what's on your mind? Well, the fire's completely extinguished, Chief. I came to report to Lieutenant Greenspan, and then I, I saw you creeping along. Well, I mean... No, creeping is right, boy. Well, come on. Creep along with me. We're trying to round up that gang of kids. Oh, no, hold it, Chief. We're at the corner of the shed. Mm. Easy now. I heard somebody moving. Yeah, coming this way, just sneaking around. Be ready to grab him. <laughs> Collins, let go of my arm. Oh, but I... Oh, 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 of course. I well, I hope I didn't hurt your arm, sir. Well, what happened, Lieutenant? I thought you were one of those Well, kids. we've been stung, Chief. You thought I was one of those boys. I heard you. I thought the same thing. But, but where are they? Shed and not a sign of them. Well, they didn't go over that nine-foot fence. Well, somehow they give us a slip. Well, if they ran away, why didn't Garnigal sing out? He was watching down there by the engine. Well, so was the whole company, sir. Maybe they can tell us how we lost out. All right, back down the hill. Maybe Garnigal saw them. So you can't help us, Garnigal. You didn't see those boys run away? Chief, never once did I take my eyes off that shed up there on a the hill. Never once did... Like a flock of sparrows. But it's impossible. We were there and they weren't. They were there, all right, and there they go. Now, how did they put it over on us like that? I am the god of hellfire, and I bring you fire. 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 Fire.
Five bells. Stand by all stations. Attention. 